Right now, new at six, what's in our water? It's an important question many are asking as Flint, Michigan deals with a water crisis. It turns out there's lead in the water of some Milwaukee homes with lead pipes. Good evening, I'm Charles Benson. And I'm Shannon Sims. The problem was discovered as the city was trying to fix an age-old problem. I talked with Mayor Tom Barrett about what he's doing about it. We're putting this on pause right now till we figure this out. Mayor Tom Barrett says the city has learned its ongoing effort to replace century-old water mains is creating a new problem. Lead levels in some homes spiked above acceptable levels before returning back to normal. What we found is in the four to six weeks period after we had replaced the water main that there were elevated lead levels. So we contacted, we have contacted all of those homes. Here's what's happening. Think of water mains as a highway and laterals as an exit ramp. The city created a pilot program to test the drinking water in about six homes with lead laterals to see what would happen while replacing the mains. By disrupting the pipes, right. uh, it could create a spike in the lead levels. Even though you're replacing, your pipes were not lead, it's the laterals that are lead. Exactly, exactly. And just by changing that pipe, could create the spike. That is correct. Right. That is correct. The city doesn't know why it happened, but it has alerted state officials about a potential health issue for other communities replacing mains. Which is, if you are replacing water mains, you need to see what the impact is on lead levels, in particular for homes that were built before 1950. That's because homes built after 1950 use copper laterals. As for the safety of Milwaukee's drinking water now, my answer is yes, the Milwaukee water is not only safe, it's excellent. Now, the city is not requiring people to replace their lead laterals, but the cost to homeowners, if they do that, ranges from $3,500 to $7,000.